think we're live. Hey everyone, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Sunday, March 22nd. I haven't been live on a Sunday in a hot minute. <laughs> needs to be my, my uh, weekly live needs to be Sundays at 9 p.m. Um, let's see who's here. Jamie's here. Donna, welcome in. Esmeralda is Simper Apparatus there. And Bill and David are here. Welcome in. Lucille, hi. Amy's here. Welcome in. So I have this set up a little bit different than normal so we can look at the plush. I'm not sure a little farther away from me. So I won't be able to hold them directly up to the camera. Um, but we'll do what we can. Um, you can see the bag here is almost as tall as me sitting down. There's two of these. There's another one back here. So, um, there are, hi Virginia, hi Friday 888, Amy's at the hospital, well thank you for everything you're doing, um, <laughs> Green Thrifty Life, haven't caught a live in forever, <laughs> uh, Amy and Gail are all here, welcome in everybody, thank you for joining me. So, there are, I think, I think there's 96 plush in here, um, Greg from our Facebook group is a longtime viewer and I asked him if he had any social media he wanted me to promote or his Instagram and he, he didn't want anything promoted but if you're in the Facebook group you saw where I tagged him his name is Greg he is a longtime viewer of our YouTube channel and member of our group and he had a bunch of plush that he wanted to wholesale um, to get rid of sell them all on lots and there's nothing wrong with them they're really good plush so that just goes to show you when um, Casey and I talk about our wholesale lots, it's not people getting rid of their junk. It's people getting rid of stuff they don't want to deal with. A lot of us acquire inventory that is, it just isn't our cup of tea. It's just not something we want to list. So he contacted us and he had these actually separated into three separate wholesale lots that he wanted to sell on our Shopify with Casey wholesale. And, um, but in his emails where he had, sh had, given us the information on the three lots he had offered a very special deal a really good discount for me personally if I wanted to buy them um, so that was really really nice of Greg and I absolutely appreciate it um, he cut me a really really good deal um, way less than he would have um, if he had sold it to the general public on our Shopify so we just combined all three lots into one and I bought all 96 of them um, so the total I paid for all 96 plus shipped to our door was $110. So that's really good. Um, excuse me. Um, 110 divided by 96, $1.14 a plush. I'm happy with that because these are some really good plush. So that was super cool of him to reach out to me and say, I'll give you these cheaper than uh, the public because he knows how much I love plush. So I appreciate it. His name is Greg. I tagged him in a post in our Facebook group. So I'll say hi to him. He's pretty cool. Um, again, there's nothing he wanted me to shout out. So we'll just shout him out and say, Greg is number cool. Say hi to him. And if you're not in the Facebook group, you should be. It's Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. And um, it is the place to be if you're a cool reseller. Um, so hi, Linda and Susie. So we're just going to jump on in. I got about an hour to spend with you guys today. Mm, there's 96 of these. We may not get through them all, but I'm just going to kind of go back and forth between the two bags and pull some out and show you. Um, and we'll get through as many as we can in an hour. May not get through them all. And I'm not going to stop and talk as much as I normally do. This is a teaching channel, so you know typically when I'm doing a haul, I will pause and give you guys some extra information and some extra tidbits and teaching moment teachable moments or whatever um, but I'm gonna try to get through as many of these as I can so I won't be doing that as much but that's probably a lie because I really like to talk and I'm very long-winded and I really like to teach and so we'll see um, I'm gonna jump right on in with this dog if you can see his face he is very very realistic looking and he is um, he is not a special brand or anything, 
But when it comes to realistic looking animals, it does not matter. So his tush tag has no brand. His tail just went in my face. Um, yeah, he's got no brand, but that's okay because people love these realistic looking animals. We have a Pluto. This is a Pluto from the Disney store. We have a Build-A-Bear Meerkat. This is not Timon. I did double check this one out to see if it was also Disney. No, it's just a Build-A-Bear. Build -a oh, it is Disney. Liar! It's Disney. So I guess it's Timon. I didn't see, <laughs> I didn't see his other foot. So he is Disney. Lion King. Build-A-Bear. Cute little Timon Meerkat. Hi, Megan. Welcome in. We have this... Build-A-Bear, Penguin, there it says Build-A-Bear tag, and he is a cute, cute, cute penguin. This dude is Disney, and I know I know who he is off the top of my head, I can't tell you right now, but he is familiar to me, I'll figure it out. So he's Disney, you can see his tag. Um... This is also an authentic Disney store. Oh, this is Mickey Mouse dressed as the Easter Bunny. I'm gonna put that one aside over here to make sure he gets listed first. We have, oh, this is exciting. We have a Krusty the Clown, an official um, Simpsons Krusty the Clown. And um, I've sold a Krusty the Clown before that was this big and he sold for like 20 bucks. So, this one is pretty exciting, being that he's larger. We have a official Disney store. Well, his glove just covered up his tag, didn't it? Disney store. Mickey Mouse. Then we have the horse. This is a horse. It's from Disney. Um, I don't recognize this one off the top of my head, but we'll figure it out when it's time. Um, let's see if I can show you his tag. Can you see his tag? Can you see his tag? Anyway, he's a Disney horse. And this is a sport. Oh, Bruins. Thank goodness they tell you on the thing what team it is for us nerds who don't do the sportings the sports. I believe this is hockey. So it's a Bruins bear. He's also a Build-A-Bear. So that is really super cool. Um, there is a bag of, I believe these are all loveys. So this is super exciting. If we have time at the end, we'll open these up and go through this little bag. But these were all bagged separately in the shipment. You can see their little heads and their little um, blankies all stuffed in there nice. Can you hear the rattle? So that is a whole bag of lovies. That means this is a bag of money. So we'll put those over there. Maybe we'll have time to go through those. Horse from Brave. Cool. Thanks, Esmeralda. Um, this is a thing. My neighbor Totoro. My neighbor Totoro. This is Disneyland. I love when I get the theme park plush. So this is uh, Walt Disney World Disneyland. This is Daisy. Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck. We have a big old Fantasia mini. Minnie Mouse. This one is all, oh, it's another Disney Parks. I love it. Disney World, Disneyland, Fantasia. Minnie Mouse. Sold the lovey last night. That's awesome. This is a person. <laughs> this is a person. This is Disney. Sorry, guys. I was trying to dig her tag out if you can see it she's Disney I want to say this is somebody from Mulan pretty sure 
you guys can see her. We'll go back backwards and grab one out of here. Oh, this is supposed to be um, Ray. So this is, this is exciting. I saw this one in the pictures. This was pretty much like the first thing I saw in the photos of the Build-A-Bear lot. And I was like, O-M-G, I need that lot. So this is a Build-A-Bear of Star Wars. And it's meant to be Ray from the um, 7, 8, and 9. Star Wars 789. And this is a Build-A-Bear. Says life is good on its foot and on its tag back here. And he's just a little life is good teddy bear. Let's see who this is. This is a Build-A-Bear. Um, a blue dinosaur. I think he's a T-Rex. He's got little hands. He must be a T-Rex. Um, Megan, I think you answered your own question. I am expert level. I am plushy queen. I know my plush. Um, this is a Build-A-Bear. Duck. But that is a, a very good question because um, if you think you want to get into plush, I know I've told you guys this before, you do have to keep your finger on the pulse of Disney Junior, Nick Junior, popular shows with children, popular movies coming out, um, pop culture. You have to be able, you have to be aware of all of that, um, not only because you want to know the characters, but um, when times are normal and we're not all in lockdown, you want to know ahead of time when movies are going to hit the theater because then characters from those movies are going to be really big and you want to get them in your store and you can ask for more money when they're popular right now. Um, this is a Build-A-Bear dog. That was a duck. I swear it was a duck. All right, this is, oh, this is super cool. This looks vintage, a toy connection. There's his hang tag. Looks vintagey. Looks like an old school. I believe that's Sleepy. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sleepy or dopey? <laughs> Let's see who I grab. Oh, I love these. So this is a My Little Pony who is also a Build-A-Bear. Now depending on the characters what I'll get for it, but um, on the regular anywhere from 20 to 25 plus shipping is what I get for these large um, Build-A-Bear My Little Ponies. They usually weigh over a pound which is why I charge shipping on them and I ship them in those big boxes. The um, large mailers from the post office you can get for free. Um, I think that's Rainbow Dash. And this one is Pinkie Pie. Oh, sorry. There's our cutie mark. By the way, if you didn't know, these are called cutie marks. So if you ever have a My Little Pony that you don't know who she is, you can Google um, My Little Pony cutie mark and put in what you have. Three balloons, a rainbow, a piece of pie, I don't know. But yeah, they're called cutie pie marks. So you can Google your cutie pie mark and find out what pony you have. This one is also um, Build-A-Bear. This is a Koala Bear from Build-A-Bear. And he is super cute, his little toes. That's awesome. Hi, Sydney. I'm glad you're having fun watching. Hey, ask Sydney if she can tell me who this one is. Because I don't remember off the top of my head the name of this one. And this is also a Build-A-Bear My Little Pony. Also, if you didn't know, four keywords. See, I said I have to stop and teach. If you have a My Little Pony who has just a horn, she's a unicorn. If she has just these wings, she's a pegasus. If she has both, you can use both keywords, unicorn and pegasus, but they're also called an alleycorn. The more you know about My Little Ponies, <laughs> the 
the more you know. Twilight Sparkle. Thank you so much. I've sold her before. I don't know why I couldn't remember. So this is cute. This is also a Build-A-Bear. And he has a sweatshirt, hat, 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 hood, and a little jean jacket. And he's super cute. I think he's a dog. I think he's a dog because he has a long tail. And he has a little dog face. Twilight Sparkle. Thank you, Sydney. All right, we're going to go back to this bag for a little while. Ooh, this is uh, the Disney Parks. Oops, there's a tail in my way. This is also from the Disney Parks. And um, I don't know where this giraffe is from. I don't think it's from Madagascar. Do you guys think it's from Madagascar? Um, the guy that played Ross, David Schwimmer, voice bad. Did you know that? See, I'm full of useless facts. Tons of useless facts. This is an Aristocat. This is Marie. And you know how I know this is Marie? Because I just listed a Build-A-Bear. Um, not a Build-A-Bear. It was not a Build-A-Bear. I just listed a Marie the other day. I had those two Build-A-Bear Disney Princess Pals who um, went, ended up being Teacup and... I um, can't remember. But yeah, I just listed uh, a giant one of these. So this is Marie from Aristocats. She's cute. We have a giant... Tinkerbell, and she is official Disney fairies. So the Disney fairies is like a newer thing um, when Tink and her friends got popular. So she's cool. She's pretty big. Huh, so that was a Madagascar giraffe. Cool. All right, this is um, Authentic Disney Parks again. And it's a smaller Mickey, Disney Fantasia. Then we have... I, uh, I for, the, for the rest of my life, until I'm 90 years old, I'm never going to get Elsa and Anna right. This is from the Disney Store. It's from Frozen. I believe this one is Elsa, but... Who knows? I always have to look them up. And it's so funny because Keith, Keith knows them too. He gets to know the plush as well. And we sold a, an Elsa the other day. No, we sold an Anna. And he brought the Elsa down. <laughs> he said, I can't tell them apart. And I said, neither can I. Um, a big red Angry Bird. I love Angry Birds. I tell you guys all the time, my funny dad joke about Angry Birds is that they fly off the shelves. I can't keep them in here. They fly away. Hmm. All right, so this is a Dakin, but, oops, sorry, it's a realistic animal. So these realistic looking animals, people like, whether they're uh, an expensive brand or not. That is like the cutest little cat face ever. Cutest little cat face ever. I'm pulling out something big with clothes on. All right, I'm going to take the clothes off of this because that's what I always tell you guys, right? Sell your animals naked and sell your Build-A-Bear clothes separate. Because the Build-A-Bear clothes on their own, some of the outfits can um, fetch $12 to $20, sometimes more depending on the outfit. And even if you sell the outfit for $12, they weigh about one to two ounces to ship. So if you bought an animal like this from the Goodwill, say you spent $2 on it even, and you sell this for $12, and then you sell this for $18 to $30, depending on what it is, you've made more money. Um, the only time I don't I don't strip them naked is if the outfit clearly is meant as part of the theme. Like I had a Skechers bear with Skechers shoes once. If they're like a Christmas bear with a Christmas outfit. Um, but you'll be able to tell. You can just tell when you have one that... Oh, this outfit's part of the character, and then sometimes you they're just clothes and you can take them off and sell them separately. So this is a spotted pony, and um it doesn't have any additional tags on it. So it's 
not going to be a character from Disney or anything like that. Build-A-Bear will always have a secondary tag on it. Um, and you never want to claim something is something unless you have the tag to prove it. You never want to say it's from Disney or Nick Jr. or anything like that unless you have the tag that says so. Just to protect your account and yourself. Take it off. Oh, little Dale, right? No, Dale. Is Dale the one with the red nose? No, Chip is... This is Chip. No, whatever. One of them has a red nose. <laughs> I have one in the store that's... Uh, the one with the Hawaiian shirt and the red nose. That's Dale. Yes, this is Chip then. And I'm showing you that. Like you can see it. That's from a park. Disney Parks. Little chipmunk. This is a... Oh... This is a Douglas cuddle toy. This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. This little rabbit feels like velvet. So soft. So cute. I'm going to put it over here because I'll use Easter as a keyword and try to get rid of it quicker. We have a Cuddlekins meerkat from Wild Republic. I love Wild Republic. Love it. Their animals are realistic. Their animals are so cute. And when you find the less common animals, they can go for even more money. Um, less common, you know, meerkats, giraffes, things you don't see as often. Here we have a dolphin from, can you see it? It's from SeaWorld. So cute. And we have a Victoria's Secret dog. I usually get about $12 for these. So, and they are so little. All right, let's go back to this bag for a minute. This guy from Jungle Book, right? He's Walt Disney. Oh, I have no doubt the perception in these tags. But anyway, his tag is Official Disney. And I believe he's from Jungle Book. Isn't he cute? He's big. Hi, Holly. Welcome in. So then we have, this is Vintage. You can tell by the tag. These tags that um, are printed like this, front and back. Like it looks like they printed it long, folded it in half, and stuck it to the animal. I've showed you guys those, I think, before. Um, that's how you, you know it's vintage and this is a bottle nose dolphin maybe then we have a wild republic seal it isn't a cute I can't stand how cute these are I'm trying to go fast so I can get through them in the hour that I have with you guys but if I had time to stop and squeeze and squish and kiss and hug and love, I would be because these guys are so cute, all of them. This is a Build-A-Bear. Triceratops. Isn't it cute? Hi, Amy. Thank you. This is a Wild Republic. Um, it's tush tag is gone, but I can see enough of it to tell you I know that that was a Wild Republic tag. Um, I can tell that it was. And plus, I already have one of these in the store exactly like this. So, um, what I'll probably do is just list this one, maybe two bucks less, since it doesn't have any tags. Maybe three bucks, I don't know. And we have a camel. He does not have tags. But he is a realistic animal, and he's a more obscure, less, um, not found as often animal. I might keep this one. <laughs> oh, how cute. This is just a safari collection, sugar loaf, hippo. So this is a claw machine toy. Um... I may keep her. We'll put her over here in case I decide to keep her. 
Then we have a Fiesta, which Fiesta can be an okay brand if you find the really nice animals, the realistic looking ones like this. This is a lion. He's a pretty lion. He's got fuzz in his, he's got fuzz in his beard. Anyway, <laughs> he's super cool. We've got a Minnie Mouse from Walt Disney World, Disneyland. And she comes with a bonus pin. So what I'll, here I'm gonna try to hold this up to show you guys. You see her pin? It says New Orleans Square and has Mickey Mouse blown a trumpet. Um, I will most likely be removing that from her and selling it separately. I'm gonna put her down there though. Um, I'll have to comp it. But if that pin can go for a little bit on its own, I'll take it off and sell it separate. Um, quick side story. A couple summers ago, uh, we bought a woman's entire Alice in Wonderland collection. She had half of her garage full of teapots and coffee cups and pins and buttons. And um, if it was Alice in Wonderland, she had it. And we bought her whole thing for like 150 bucks. And one teapot made our money back. But um, she had a bunch of those little pins like that. And they were selling as fast as I could list them. So, pretty cool. This is Wild Republic. This is a bunny. So he's going to go over here with my other bunnies. Because all my bunnies I want up first. So that I can put Easter in their um, title. Oh my god this is the cutest beaver i have ever seen look at his teeth <laughs> oh my god he's so cute he is fine toy company never heard of him doesn't matter because he's a giant beaver and he's cool and he's cute look how i can't stand it i want him Oh my god, he's cute. Oh, Pink Panther. That's cool. This is Ace from 1994. So, you guys, there's a tip for you. If you see these older characters and they have these Ace tags, they'll typically tell you what year. Um, but Ace is typically vintage, plush. And um, so if you see the Ace, pick it up. And that's another thing too. Typically, your vintage plush are going to have the um, year. They used to always put the year on the plush tag. They don't so much anymore. So your vintage ones are going to have a date with the exception of Knickerbocker. So always pick up your Knickerbocker plush because they don't always have the date, but they will be vintage. Katie Beaver <laughs> loves the beaver. <laughs> He's so cute. His little teeth. That just kills me. How cute he was. Oh my gosh. This guy. Oh, he's so cute too. And he's FAO shorts. Y'all. Yeah, he's a good brand too. But look at his face. I can't stand how cute some of these are. Oh my. All right. Oh, we got a little tiger. This one's a F Aurora Flopsies collection. So again, not so much of a good brand, but it's a realistic looking little tiger. Cheetah. He is not a tiger. <laughs> I just looked down at him and thought, he has spots, not stripes. Yeah, this is a little leopard or a cheetah. Hi, Casey. These are my 96 plush I told you about. So what I have just pulled out of the bag is money. I have just pulled money out of the bag. So I know I've told you guys before that the Angry Birds bombs are worth more than the other Angry Birds. And this one's giant. This one is huge. Mary, welcome in. Hey, Robert, welcome in. Um, about halfway through so if you guys want to catch the first half of the plush 
you can always catch the replay. Anyway, this angry bird is money, 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 money. Singing for my plush. Oh my gosh, this guy is cool. A bald eagle. Now this is Plush Creations, Inc. I can't hold it that far up. But again, this one's more about just the fact that he's a realistic animal and not so much his brand. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it. Yeah, the bomb, the bomb, Angry Birds, the bomb. And now I have this big monkey. Oh, you know what? I have to show, I have to show since Robert came in late. Robert, look at this beaver. Oh, look at this beaver. Isn't he so cute? I want this beaver. All right. We have this monkey. This monkey is Dandy. Yay, I love Dandy plush. Um, Dandy is typically bread and butter, but it can be a bolo, depending on the plush. I'm going to say this guy is going to be worth some money just because of his size. Then we have another vintage applause tag there on this killer well. Now, because this does not have, again, like I said earlier about you have to make sure you have the tags to back up what you're claiming to protect your account. If it looks like a different character, but it doesn't have a Disney tag or whatever, you can't call it that. So I cannot call this um, a SeaWorld Shamu because it doesn't have a SeaWorld tag. So this just has to be a killer whale or an orca. Um, but I see that all the time in the group where someone will have a generic plush or just a plain, not, it doesn't have to be generic, but they'll have just an animal that looks similar to something from Disney and they want to know if they can call it that. And no, you can't. Are you serious, Casey? There's animals everywhere. Here's the beaver. I'm going to keep him, I think. He's probably worth so much money, but he's so freaking cute. I love little rodent things. Okay, this is a giant um, Nemo. Sorry, I was reading the tag. This is Bandai from Finding Dory is what the tag says. Let's see if I can show it to you. Boop. No depth perception. Anyway, look how big that is. So cool. Huh, how did you, I promoted the, um, I promoted the video on, uh, the group and all my social media. Oh my God, Casey, go home. <laughs> so this is a horse. This is a Build-A-Bear horse. And he's like not another character or anything like that, like I just was talking about. He's just a horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. There's some really big ones down in here. We'll get them out. Oh my god! Ah! I'm so excited! So excited! Look at this! Keith's in the other room like, oh my god. Shut up, stop yelling. But look! This is an official Disney store. Giant Stitch! Oh my god! Oh my god, this thing is so cool. So big. He was so big. Isn't he cute? Uh, this is from SeaWorld, officially. <coughs> that stitch. That stitch and that beaver. Actually, I asked, I could see him in the bag when they arrived. And I said, I want the hippo. Keith said, if I make our money back, then I can keep any of them I want. So, we'll see. Because, you know, I'm a 12-year-old. So, this is a SeaWorld, um... Are they stingrays or manta rays? 
And there's one more giant thing in this bag. Hey, I might get through all of these in the hour. That's cool. Giant Pooh Bear. So these were vacuum sealed. So I might have to push some of them, but they'll be fine. So I did want to mention that to you guys. So these came in these giant bags like this. There were two of them full. And um, Greg had them in, really in there, and then he sucked the air out of the vacuum. See that? So it was a vacuum sealed bag, and all the plush were squished in. They looked really flat. They actually looked, have you ever seen the Build-A-Bear um, animals without the fluff inside? When they're just like their skin and they're flat? They all looked like that, but as soon as you cut it open and pff, air came in, they went pff, and they all filled back in. And the reason I wanted to mention that is for those of you that struggle with storing your blush and you don't have room for them. I'm sorry, I have hair in my mouth. It's really driving me nuts. If you um, don't have room to store your plush or whatever, that is always an option for you. You can vacuum seal them. When you open it up, they will fluff back out. And additionally, do not be afraid to shove them down into poly bags or shove them down into boxes to ship them because plush can really be squished and then they will puff back out. Like he was on the bottom of that bag and he literally looked flat. Like he had no stuffing inside of him and he's fine. So don't be afraid to squish your plush. I'm not even following the chat, that's okay. Um, this is SeaWorld. And this is a walrus. Oh, I see. I, I didn't understand what Casey. Does he under, know what he just said? Um, yeah, no. These are all money plush. So I won't keep anybody but the widow hippo. Because I think she's cute. And she's my new friend. She can hang out with Billy. If you're in the Facebook group, you probably saw my little video the other night. I did an unbox, a little unboxing in the group. My friend Tim Heck from Hex Treasure sent me a little um, isolation <laughs> package to get me through. And I got a little hippo and stuff in there from him. Um, this is official Nickelodeon. But I'm going to have to put batteries in it and test it. Because it allegedly does something. So let's put him over there. We have a wee little... Easter Bunny Poo. And, um, he's going to go over here to get sold first. Okay, we're going to strip another Build-A-Bear. Here we go. Stripping another Build-A-Bear. So this dog is a Build-A-Bear dog. Now this is the second one like this I've had and then I had one that was this light tan color with the darker brown eye and a darker brown spot so like pretty much opposite colors and uh, both of my other ones sold for 18 one sold for 18 one sold for 19 I believe so even these plain build bears you guys you can list them for 18 19 bucks and I stripped him naked so I'll sell his outfit separate it's got a little pair of <laughs> A bit that bear uh, basketball shorts and a little tiny basketball shirt. Nuggets build a bear. So I got two build a bear outfits so far that we've undressed them from. Um, then we have this is a build a bear as well. This is a pink dinosaur. <laughs> I think this might be a T-Rex too. This looks like Godzilla, but pink. But again, I can't use the name Godzilla unless it's Godzilla. Pokemon. Yay, I love selling Pokemons. This is... Um, this is one of Charmander's evolutions. I know that. I just don't know its name. Charizard? Is it Charizard? Did I remember your name? <laughs> Then we have a Wild Republic Spotted Seal. 
Um, I've sold these before that look like this spotted seal. I've sold Wild Republic and I've sold the Gans Webkins with no code. I usually get like 19, 20 bucks for these little seals that have the spots like that. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's just somebody out there who loves these seals and they're so obscure and hard to find that they sell really fast and for money when you find them. But they're so super, super cute. Let's see, this is a lamb from, it's Disney. I want to say this one is from, it, from Doc McStuffins. What do y'all think? It looks like a Doc McStuffins character. It even has a doctor's coat on. This is uh, Tigger from the Disney store. With a little Santa suit. Jamie says, I'm barbecuing and watching the world burn. What are y'all doing? I'm going through my plush. And I'm having fun doing it. Check out this ginormous guy. This is the original television classic. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And he's got, he's Build-A-Bear. But he's pretty big, so I'm pretty excited about him. What do you guys think? Okay, we got... Oh my gosh, I love Woody's. I love, 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 love Woody's. Um, so, I don't know. Those of you that have been longtime viewers may have seen, um, over the summer, last summer, I bought a bag full of Woody's. And each one sold for like 16 bucks, and they all sold within a week of getting them up. So, But also Toy Story 3 had just come out. Again, that goes back to what I said earlier. You have to kind of have your finger on the pulse of pop culture. If you want to really get into plush, you need to know which characters are popular, what movies are out. Because you can raise prices when things are popular, and they'll sell faster. So this is a Cuddlekin Spotted Ray. Got a long tail. Got a little face on the bottom. No, Woody didn't have his hat. I'm assuming it's going to be in here somewhere. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to worry so much about the neck. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I think that's another thing a lot of people do. They... And I think Robert will agree with me on this. Sometimes people spend a little too much time being perfectionist when it comes to plush. Um, if you can't find the exact animal you have, you probably only have the only one and you can set your own price. You don't need to spend hours scouring for them. Um, if comps are all over the place, you don't need to spend hours trying to figure it out. Just pick some more in the middle, go high. Um, if it has a tiny flaw or imperfection, just list it. Really. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just his neck is his neck. It, there's nothing to be fixed. See? Yeah, I think y'all worry too much. I just list them and sell them. Alright, this is a Disney Coles Cares. So the Coles Cares, Disney will be... They're good. They're okay. They're bread and butter. They're not as good, obviously, as Disney Store and Disney Parks. Then we have another Douglas Cuddle toy. Na, na, na. And this one is a goat. Yep, what Robert said. They're stuffed animals. You can squish them, squeeze them, flop them, drop them, shut them down, open up shop. Hey oh. All right, this is a sock monkey. You guys, sock monkeys are big. Certain brands will go for more money than others, but any sock monkeys are good. People collect these and love them. His, unfortunately, touch tag has been cut off. So uh, when I go to list him, I will just have to make up my own price and list him as unbranded because I can't tell what brand it was. We have a giant. Oh, I can recognize this. This is Elsa. This is Elsa. 
Whenever Elsa's hair is in her braid, she has on her signature blue dress. I can tell her apart from Anna. And no, I'm not undressing her. Um, Disney. That's what I was going for. And she's got flowers in her hair. No, I was just talking. This, oh, I've sold this guy before. Unfortunately, his little tush tag is missing, but I recognize his, oh no, he's got one down here. Good, good, good. This tush tag is missing, but he's got this tag. Wild Republic. So say, I recognize his face. I know I've sold this exact monkey before. Star Wars! Chewbacca! He's a Wookiee. So there's Chewie. That's a butt shot. I just stripped two Build-A-Bears on this live show, too. Animal Alley, you guys! I love Animal Alley. And, and it's a sock monkey! I like when you find something that has like two things going for it. You're like, oh, it's a good brand and it's a good thing. Character or animal. <coughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Turbo Racing Team. DreamWorks. From the movie. <laughs> Look at his face. And he's got, he's got uh, his number on his shell. How cute is that? We've got a Disney um, dog. I, I don't know what that one is. Maybe Doc McStuffins. All right, we got about 15 minutes left, and I got a lot of little guys. In the bottom there, so we're going to do that. And yes, that's loud. I'm sorry. Very loud. Sorry. Crinkly. Turbo the snail. Um, crinkle, crinkle. ASMR video, right? All right, so this is Jangle Joe's Safari Friends. Merlin the Mandrill. He looks like Rafiki, but he's not Rafiki. Then I have Pure One Imports. Anybody, did y'all know that Pier 1 Imports does plush? I knew that um, Ikea does plush. I did not know that Pier 1 Imports did plush. That's pretty cool. Cool lion. Yes, please. Thank you so much, Phil and David. Um, hit the like button. Does help. Fine dough from Doc McStuffins. Thank you. Um, I am getting good at recognizing Doc McStuffins characters. Another Douglas Cuddle Toy. This one is a Wooly Mammoth. So that's good. He's like a more obscure animal. We have this ostrich. Who is Aurora. We have uh, Gans. Webkins. No code. Little tiny fuzzy panda bear. We have another Aurora. Little panda bear. Panda bears are so cute. Panda bears are so cute. If you ever YouTube them and watch them, they're like actual living stuffed animals. They are so cute. Another Douglas. This is a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. Robert says, I love the ostrich. Yeah, the ostrich is really cool. Another Douglas Cuddle toy. This one's a goat. We have, oh, cool. Wildlife Artist Inc. I got another spotted seal. I love these spotted seals. Love them. I've sold so many of them for in different brands, and people just love the seals. Here's another one that's good. This is Fiesta, so that's not a good brand, but Owls. People love owls. And I feel like they move a little bit faster than some animals. I think there's a lot of people out there who like owls and collect them and they're just harder to find maybe. 
Yes, Ugly Dog, although I won't be putting Ugly in his um, title. That's not nice. It'll hurt his feelings. This is the thing. This has no tags, but it's cute. I have a cute face. We have a Wildlife Artist Ink, another like Manta Ray Stingray thingy. You guys, we might get through all of this. They're falling everywhere. Then we have uh, plants. Ooh! I know somebody who'd like this. This is from Plants vs. Zombies. Isn't he cool? I might keep that. Um, Patch from Disney. So this has got to be from 101 Dalmatians. Um, Webkins with a code. Polar Bear. You, <laughs> Robert said, give me. You can do really, really well with plush. In fact, Robert sells mostly plush and does this full time. Another little Douglas cuddle. What did I just put down here? The bear. The little, another really super soft rabbit. These little rabbits are so soft. They're like little velvets. And if you ever wanted to hear my voice sound when I talk to my hamster, you just heard it. <laughs> Hello, hamster. All right, this is a K&M International, which is Wild Republic. Sometimes it'll have both. That one does. I don't know if you can see it. Sometimes it'll say K&M International and Wild Republic. Sometimes it doesn't have the Wild Republic. But if it's K&M, it is Wild Republic, which is a good brand for your animal plush. This, I believe, is a Roadrunner. And if I'm wrong, that's sad because I'm from Tucson, Arizona originally, and we had Roadrunners out there, but... I believe this is some kind of a roadrunner. Maybe. There's no legs though, so who knows. And that's everything, so let's see if we can. We got about eight minutes until I hit the hour mark. So let's go ahead and open up the bag of lovies and take a look at them real quick. If you guys have questions, go ahead and start throwing them in the chat now. You can ask me anything and um, I'll get to your questions uh, between now and when we end the video in about nine, eight minutes. We'll try to go through the loveys. The bird. It does. Thank you, Robert. I didn't even realize that it made noise. So cool. Thank you. All right. So this is Cloud Island. And this one is a whale with little anchors on the blanket. This one is just one, just one you by Carter's. Don't dismiss Carter's. I just sold a Carter's lovey for like um, sixteen bucks the other day, maybe seventeen. Loveys are money. Loveys are bolos. This entire bag is a bag of bolo money. <laughs> this is a little um, rabbit. This looks like. Good night moon, I thought so. So the tag actually says good night moon. These loveys that are familiar characters from books are definitely money. I've sold hungry caterpillar ones before. Um, so yeah, I love loveys. Love, love, love loveys. Yes, I do still put Wild Republic in the listing if I have room. Um, you can very quickly run out of room in your title. And so I try to put in um, as many keywords as I can so, if I run out of room, I would actually probably take out K&M and just leave Wild Republic, to be honest, because that's more recognizable to most people than the K&M. Um, so, I would probably just put Wild Republic, because I like to cram as many good keywords as I can into that valuable real estate that is the title. This guy has no tag. That's okay. I'll still probably list him for, like, 14 This one is... So cute. This is another uh, Carter's child of mine. Little dog with a spot on his eye. 
we have a this does not have a brand it just has a big big old RN number <laughs> I guess I'll look that up anyway it's the little bear with stripes I love the very hungry caterpillar too it's one of my favorite books as a kid and I read it to my um, children when they were small this is magic years little bear you guys have no idea how much I love lovies. Lovies are money. Money, money, money. Angel deer. Little brown bear. This was another one. Maybe you can see this one a little bit better. Angel deer. Um, this one's like a little pink lamb. Yeah, Robert says he only uses the wild republic. Oh, there's two of them. So here's the wonderful thing about this. One listing, multiple quantities. And we have another angel deer. This one has a hang tag, actually. So I, whatever I price the other ones at, this one will go for like maybe three bucks more just because it has the hang tag as well. And so that's the last of the lovies. So I got a bag of lovies in there. I got two Bale to Bear outfits. I got all these plus you guys saw. All for $110 and that was shipped. So full price for everything you just saw, um, including shipping, was $110. So um, I guess while we can't get out sourcing, I'm going to be very, very busy. I have a lot of plush hair to list. Um, additionally, I did order three boxes from Thread Up. I ordered one about a week ago. And then I ordered two more together on the same day. They were running a special. I think it was Tuesday. They were running a special $8 off and free shipping on the 30-pound box. So I ordered two. So they're going to come in staggered. One will come in first, and then I'll get the other two later. So um, between all of these plush, all of the stuff back there, and the thread-up boxes, we may be able to get through um, the time when we can't go outsourcing and continue to list and be active every single day. Of course, when the thread up boxes come in, I'll be right here live with you guys to open them up and see what I got. Um, so, yeah, I did get a really good deal. It would have been a little bit more had he sold it on our um, Shopify wholesale site with Casey, but um, he cut me a deal because he's a longtime subscriber and a really awesome guy. So, um, so... Pooh is the only lovey. I think that maybe Pooh Bear himself is oversaturated. I do well with a lot of the more obscure characters from Winnie the Pooh that you don't see as often, like Rue, Piglet. I just sold an Easter Piglet, by the way. Like a little Easter Bunny Piglet. All right, guys. So that's that. I'll be back with my thread up um, whenever it arrives. Everything is behind right now as far as getting shipped. And, um... Oh, Robert... Robert will be here Tuesday night. I'm going to tell him now. So Tuesday night on my regular live show, regular time, regular place, 7 p.m. Eastern time right here. I'm going to have Robert on with me live. So you guys will have the plush king and the plush queen together at once on a live show. Um, I'm going to do a live store review of Robert's store to kind of show you guys how I do a store review. I'm going to announce a special giveaway. And uh, after we do... After we go through Robert's store and do the store review to kind of show you how I do it. It will also give you guys, it will give you guys an ability to see how I do a store review. But it will also give you the ability to look through Robert's store and see all of his plush. And everything that he does really, really well with. After all, he is the plush king. So, hope to see you guys there. I'm really super, super stoked to have Robert on. It's always a good time when he's here. So, hopefully you guys will show up for that. Of course, I will be putting out the What Sold on eBay video tomorrow. And um, if you watched my update on Friday, I did go down a list with you guys of videos that I'm going to be putting out over the next coming weeks um, pertaining to the current situation at hand and what we're dealing with while we're all stuck inside. And in and among that, if any updates come or news come, I will be right here to keep you guys abreast of all the news and everything that's going on. Um, please hit the thumbs up, you guys, um, not just my YouTube channel. 
not just this YouTube channel, but any YouTube channel that you like, any YouTuber that you like now, more than ever before, we really need your support. A lot of us are having dwindling streams of income and this is going to become something that we rely on more. So make sure when you're watching your favorite YouTubers, you guys are hitting that thumbs up. You guys are making sure that you're subscribed. For some reason, sometimes YouTube will accidentally knock you off and unsubscribe you. So double check that you're subscribed to your favorites, hit your little bell, hit the like button on every video you watch, and leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi, thanks, good video. Um, because every single one of those things is an additional um, push in the algorithm for that YouTuber and their videos, and it really helps us out. So we absolutely appreciate it, but just make sure you, you're doing that for us and all your favorite YouTubers. Um, so that's it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos on all social media. You guys can also always email me at flippinhipposhelp at gmail.com and join the Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod on Facebook. Free to join, link down below. Uh, wonderful, wonderful group of really great people. So hope to see you there. And uh, thank you so, so much for coming in today and spending an hour with me and looking at all of my new plush looky oh i grabbed the ugly dog oh don't tell him that but yeah thank you so so much for joining me today and spending this hour with me looking at my new toys you guys please be safe out there stay home wash your damn hands go be productive make some money you guys are the best bye